Hiya, welcome. I did mention in my last video, um, it was an unboxing video actually, nothing to do with CNCs, nothing to do with bars, pub sheds, or anything like that. And I must admit, I did mention that I don't do unboxing videos. But fun enough, this little present turned up uh, when I got in from work today. So, um, yeah, another un unboxing video. This is the CNC spindle that we've ordered, my son and I have ordered from China. It's a 1.5 kilowatt air cool spindle with a VFD, a variable frequency drive. I've no idea what the variable frequency drive is, but I do know that it controls the spindle speed via frequencies and you have to program it, etc., etc. I've also ordered some four core shielded cable for it. Uh, I'll put a link below for that if you want. I'll put a link below for this. I don't think there'll be affiliated links or whatever, but if you search around, I mean, a lot of people are using 2.2 kilowatt spindles, uh, liquid cold, water cold. I didn't want the hassle messing about with water pumps. Um, I think the 2.2 kilowatt or 2.5 kilowatt ones got with a bigger collet size. The only reason I'm sending back the router that I bought with the kit, the rat rig kit originally, is because I thought I'd go for a spindle. Apparently the spindles are quieter, and a spindle is what it says on the box, basically it's a dedicated spindle, as opposed to a router, which is a woodworking type router. And these are meant to be quieter, I'm hoping it's, it'll do more um, hours, runtime hours. So I'm hoping it'll be more reliable, basically. But I don't know. Um, I don't know. Am I the only guy building a CNC machine in their bar down their garden? Probably. So let's get this box opened. Um, I've still not sent the other one back yet. The oh, I've got about five parcels indoors. I've got to send back, actually. Pain the backside. They just keep sending stuff back. That's nothing to do with CNC. There's other stuff. Um... It's all right ordering bits and bobs, but when you get it, they send the wrong stuff through. Roof rack, another story. Roof bars from a kayak. Um, it's all right people sending stuff through and saying it's, you know, you send it back, but you've got to go down the pack all up and send it back. Going off track now, as usual. Let's get this undone. Let's get it unboxed. It's made in China. It's from China. Um, I've ordered some cable, shielded four core cable, which is a cable that someone's recommended on, on a, um, a Facebook group, I do believe. I've found, and I spoke to a guy, we'll catch up with this later on when we go to put this CNC together, but I spoke to a guy on the internet who wired up a um, spindle similar to this for his CNC. And he, I know a little bit about soldering irons and wiring, etc., but I'm not, not as clued up as this guy that I watched on YouTube the other week. And uh, he's got a little small CNC, and he's bought a similar spindle to this and wired it up himself with the same cable that I've bought, pretty much the same cable. And he's, we, I subscribe to his channel, he subscribes to my channel, I can't remember his name, I think it's Frank. Anyway, he subscribes to my channel, I subscribe to his YouTube channel, and he watched one of my YouTube videos where I go off my kayak to uh, Chelm, River Chelm, a paper mill lock in Chelmsford, Essex, UK, and he said something along the lines, oh lovely, great, I'd love to pop over there when I get a chance. So I'm thinking, hang on, this guy that's wired up a CNC spindle in his garage, his house, obviously lives near the... Um, the River Chelmsford in Essex. Yeah, again, I'm going off track, but I'm not actually. So I thought to myself, if this guy lives local, because he's, he's near the River Chelmsford in Essex, UK, and he's not about to take his kayak out, which is great, I might go out for a little kayak trip with him one day. That'd be, be good. Got similar similar hobbies sort of thing. And I thought, well, I'll, do, I'll email him and send a private message and message him. So look, do you live nearby? If you do, any chance you can maybe take a look at my spindle, we'll do a little video of him doing my spindle. So, um, he and my other back said, yeah, great, brilliant, John, I'd love to do it. So I'm going to unbox this. I'm waiting for some cable to come through. There's a shielded four-core cable coming through. I'll put a link to this below, and I'll put a link to the um, cable below. So what I've done, I emailed the guy and said, I think it's right, I can't remember his name now. So I emailed the guy and said, look, do you mind if we did a, do a little um, wiring video? I'll bring this round to your house. Or he's gonna, I think he's going to visit me, I'm going to visit him one, one way or the other. And uh, we're going to wire this up together. He's going to go through it with me. That's what he said when I emailed him the other week. And I'm hoping he'll still stick to that because I think it'll be a good little video. So we'll get together, two YouTube subscribers, get together and wire one of these up um, and he can do it for me. He had a, uh, I could do a bit of soldering and stuff like that, but he had a, a, a multi-meter to test the voltage. And you got to make sure it's shielded properly. You got to make sure there's no electric current going through the, um, the spindle mode because they're metal, metal casings and that. So I'd rather someone who knows a bit more about it do it than, than myself. And he programmed it all up for me. So I said to him, like, I'll give you a couple of quid. Do you mind doing it for me? And he said, yeah, that's fine. Um, catch up with him when I get a chance. 
So the spindle's come through, we'll, I'm waiting for the cable to come through, and then when that's come through, we're going to undo, uh, take it around his arse, I'll catch up with him, and he'll come around here, and we'll sold this up together and get it running. You've got to program it in and test it out. I'll, I'll be a bit happier if someone like that's going to do it for me than myself. Um, the rest of it I'll, I'll do myself. And um, I've just seen a, a message on Facebook, actually, on one of the Facebook groups about some extra cable with a control and stuff. So I've got a lot to do yet, so let's crack on. Let's get this open. Because all I'm doing today is going to open and literally have a little look at what's in the box. Okay. Food from China. I don't really think you should buy this sort of thing. Everything's in China now, guys. I spoke about this on one of my videos the other week. Everything seems to be from China. The only thing is with stuff from China, they've got different, um, as opposed to the UK or other countries. In the in the United Kingdom, we've got certain regulations, certainly le electrical regulations, health and safety, etc., which is not a bad thing. Different countries have different uh, regulations. So um, just be aware of buying stuff from other countries. You may have to fiddle about with them and do, you know, it's not just plug and play. I mean, that's the point I'm trying to make. It's well boxed up. Oh, yeah, I remember now. I forgot, actually, I bought a spindle mount as well. Oh, I'm well pleased with that. Oh, excellent, excellent. Actually, I'm bloody... Oh, it's looking good already. Right. It's all well packaged. Set of little collets there. ER16 collets. Spindle mount. I wanted to get this through because when I fix this onto the... Um, I might do it tonight, actually. I want to put some holes in this on a manual mill at work and attach it to my Z-axis before I go any further. So I'll unwrap that and marry it up to my Z-axis because uh, I'll have to modify it. There's no holes in this. So I'll bring the camera in closer when I've opened it up and taken it out of the box fully. What we've got here? Another bit of polystyrene. It's well packaged, I'll give them that. Um, right, okay, there's a spindle. And there is the VFD, the variable, the variable frequency drive. 1.5 kilowatt, 220 volt. As I say, I don't know anything about, well, bare minimum about electronics. It's quite well packaged, so it's just, I'll do, I'll bring the camera a little bit closer and have a little zoom up on this, I think. All right, first off, let's open the little um, box of collets. It should be, hopefully, ER16. ER16, size one, one mil collet, two mil, three mil, four mil, five mil, one eighth, ten mil. So it's, it's one mil to ten mil plus an eighth. So let's just check what these are like first. This is why I wanted this, uh, it's quite a standard size collet. The ER16. There you go. All packaged up nicely and greased up. So, little packet of collets. It's taking longer to build than I thought this uh, machine, I must admit, because it's basically due to the time, my time, doing other bits and pieces. So, just cut this open. And I'm a bit limited for space in here. That should just open. Ah, oh, there you go. Wow. That's um that's a big lump. Another collet with a spindle. There's the plug. This is the bit I want the, the YouTuber to do for me. Because you need to shield it all. You need to shield the, the outer casing of that really. So um, then this will be shielded, I think. And then obviously, I'll put that back a minute. Put that collet back, this is a spindle. That's a, that's a bit of a lump, look. A bit more of a heavier duty than a, a router. Not sure it's a good one. Feels all right. Now you've got a collet in there as well, look. No spanners, but um, so you've got no spanners with it. There's a bit of bloody rust on there, really, but slight surface rust. And the nut's been balanced by the looks of it. Look, 
got to cut holes in the, in the nut there so they balance that but I won't be running at super duper speeds I don't think anyway we'll see so yeah that is a nice big nice big lump of a spindle but like I said this all needs shielding that all needs to be earthed and grounded and um, that's looking good so far I'm trying to read the writing on there I think that's the make that most people recommend but um, don't know what it says 80 mil diameter spindle 200 1.5 kilowatt 220 volts 8 amps 400 hertz that's 80 mil diameter probably buying stuff from China you're taking a bit of a risk but I've, I bought some stuff from China before not had any troubles with it but let's have a look at this now apparently you get an instruction book out of it yes yeah, Huang Yang Huang Yang inverter which Huang Yang Huang Yang whatever it is inverter Huang Yang now that is the make that people recommend apparently but I don't really know I mean it could be fake I don't know there you go, that's a little booklet that comes with it. Oh, hello. Is it English? Introduction. As I say, I'm going to get the... Um, I'll, I'll tag the guy on YouTube, because I'm going to try and get him to uh, go through it for me. Because apparently it's very, very... It's it's in English, but it's, it's, it's Chinese sort of instructions converted to English, so it doesn't really... doesn't really go to our regs, I don't think. Use of the manual. I'll take that indoors, have a little read up of that. Right, this is the um the inverter coil, that's light. I don't know what I expected really, but that's a little um VFD, the variable frequency drive. Well packaged. Feels a bit hollow actually, that's a basically run, stop, reverse, shift to pro you have to program it, and you've got a little VFD variable frequency from there um, I'll take it out of the bag while I'm here it feels very plasticky that's probably because it's made of made of plastic right there you go yeah I don't know the quality of these or not to be honest with you like I say it's made in China but what sort of standards what sort of standards are they made to? You've got a little controller there. Up, down, pro run, stop. But I'm going to try and get this programmed through the um, the control board of the CNC. Apparently take this cover off here. Wire it into the bottom here. And that's where my matey, um, matey, matey comes in. Involved the old subscriber. Because I could probably have a go, but I don't want to... He was taking a little cover off there, look, you can to get access to the fan, but I suppose that cover is for um do you put a you can lift that up, you can take that cover off. It's got a fan there, look. Which is removable for some reason. Oh you got a fan there and um calling things at the back there and a the fan sits on top. I can imagine you could put a little bit of um, filter over the top of that, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Foam filter, which normal machines have. It's like the old dust. Can we get it in there? Get yeah, us back in there. All right, it's all looking good. So I'll be getting in contact with Matey, and I'll put his link below, and um, see if he can do it for me. Have a little chat with him. I think this comes off. Oh, yeah. That comes off as well. A bit of hot glue on the back there. Yeah, this comes out. Don't ask me why. I don't know if you can extend it or what. You unplug it, but... Why do you want to take that out? I do not know. I don't want to break it. I'm probably buying stuff from China. I'm not sure what sort of guarantees you've got. Yeah, you're covered by this, the laws over this country. I'm not sure if they go wrong. Um, 
when you buy these CNCs, these hobby CNCs, you're sort of buying into a... It is a hobby, it's not just like plug and play. Really. And somehow it's got... That's it, that clips, that clips. Back in there like that. But I don't see me, I can't see myself taking that out. But some feels all right. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to take that to a health and safety person in the UK. Our, our rules and regs and check over with it. But I think, as I say, if you know what you're doing, you get someone involved who knows what they're doing, they should be able to earth it and ground it properly for you. Yeah, because as I say, in China, etc., they have different rules and regs for us. Right. Let's just open up. See if we can put that back in the bag. A bit of protection for it. That's going back in there. I must put some foam with it. All right, that's going back in there. That's going back in there. That's like that. That, that's the spindle so there's the booklet instruction booklet I'll have a little read of that I'm just going to take this apart and do the spindle mount I bought that extra or oh, I can't remember if it comes as a bundle that's um to be honest with you I can't remember that cost it was it was cheap so much I was going to make one but I thought it was so cheap cheap to buy What I like about what I like about it's only a bit rough and ready. There you go. It's a big old mount that. What I like about these mounts is the depth of it. You got that depth there. So that will hold the spindle. Once you've clocked it up, that'll hold the spindle nice and straight, as opposed to small mounts you get. So that'll hold the spindle nice and straight. You got a cap head bolt there. So you got bolt goes two bolts going there to clamp it up. I think it's cast so you got to put two bolts two bolts in there clamp it up this bolt here jacks it open because there's no hole there i do i do believe is that right yeah i think so from what i saw yeah yeah that's right so these ones here these two, these two here, are drilled and tapped here, the drilled clearance for the bolt there, and they're tapped there, so you can tighten it up. This one here, oh, that's, the thread's a bit crap, but um, this one here has been tapped here. The idea is you screw that down, it jacks, it jacks this open for the spindle to fit into. Once you jacket it open and put your spindle in, then you do up your two there to clamp it. So just so you are aware, this is my, uh, the Y, no, this is the X. This will be the X rail with this running up and down the X, like so, like that. This will be the Z, this is the Z, which if I can just mount that now, move that spindle now with the stepper motor on the back of the Z there. So this is the Z. Now what I originally bought was a small mount that goes there, with a small router that goes there. Now I've gone a bit beefier. I bought the 80 millimeter, a 1.5 kilowatt motor, spindle motor, with an 80 millimeter outside diameter casing. Now this is the mounting that I bought for it. The reason I said earlier I bought this mismount is, is the depth here, the thickness of it. So it'll hold the spindle nice and top tight. And once that's clocked up uh, straight and parallel, that should hold that nice and sort of with no, no flexibility. Now the plan is now, obviously you can see that's too wide for this plate. It needs to bolt to this plate here, this C-section extrusion, or this extrusion, I think it's C-section here. So it needs this mount needs to bolt to this plate. What I plan to do is make a place up, 
the size of this. Uh, hole, two holes in it, four holes, sorry, two there, two there, and use some um, the pullback type washer things that you get with a kit. So I'll put a plate, a plate on here, fixed onto here. Then I want to put two, four holes in here, two holes in there, two holes in there. And I'm going to put capids through to the mounting plate. So it's a little project for me to um, do spare time. So I need to get a pitch from there to there. A pitch from there to there. Um, yeah, a, a plate that size, aluminium plate. I think that's what I'll do. As I say, I can't bolt that straight to there. Be, you know, you can't bolt it there, you can't bolt it offset. So I need a mounting, a sub, a sub plate, a sub plate almost underneath this. So that'll be sitting on there like that. I think that'll work. Yeah, sub plate. So alley plate, alley should be fine. Alley plate under that. Same size as this. Drilled and tapped to accept some holes through this. That'll bolt on, and there's some holes for that. That's the plan. I'll show you that in my next video because that's a little project for me over the next couple of days, I think. Right, so I hope you've enjoyed that small unboxing video. Um, that's the plan now. So I've unboxed it. I've shown you the spin. I've shown you the VFD, the variable frequency drive. I've spoke about the guy who's going to hope you wire it up for me. If not, I'll have to try and have a little go myself. We'll see. Cable's coming through the post very soon. I've ordered it the other day. As I say, this is my uh, X and Z, or Z if you're in America or Canada. This is my Z axis. This is a spindle mount which is going to go on top with the spindle inside. So the next job is to make a plate for that, as I said a minute ago, make a plate for the same size as this, drill and tap that through, drill, well, drill clearance holes through, bolt it to a plate, and that plate will have four holes here, which will fix onto there. So I'm just going to have a little measure up now and um, crack on with that in my spare time. So the next video you'll see, hopefully I have a plate made up, bolt it to this, I'll get the table, surface done i think get the table so finish the table off get the surface uh the mdf bolted up on top of the table mdf bolted up on top of the table i'm thinking now yeah get the spindle mounted onto that and get me mate round or the youtube subscriber i'm gonna go to his place or he's gonna come to this place hit this place and we'll do a little bit of soldering and uh, we'll try and video that together and program it up um, could do that at a later date actually, thinking about it. I'll build it up first and then give me a shout, I think. So that sounds like a plan to me. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, click the little notification bell below um, if you're interested in the kayaking, fishing, uh, CNC work, pub sheds, bar signs. This little machine, I'm hopefully going to start knocking out a few little bar signs for a few of my subscribers. Um, we've got a Facebook channel, Life of John Facebook channel, if you fancy popping over that for a chat. Uh, I do do some lives every now and again. It's got nothing to do with C&Cs, actually. We do some um, YouTube lives on a Friday. If I'm not available, a couple of guys there, God bless them, they do some um, Facebook uh, rooms where you can have a little private chat in these rooms. That's always quite fun. We normally have a few beers together in the chat. But uh, you, we talk all things um, pub sheds, bars, kayaking, fishing, and uh, might even drag a bit of C&C into it now. And, uh, yeah, a few guys I've become quite friendly with, so I think they're... Um, wait on me to do a few little pub signs for them so i'm gonna do some uh, designs on my software vectric software i think i'm gonna use and uh, hope to get this up and running as soon as possible knock out some signs as i said please please like subscribe a few comments below makes it all worthwhile yeah it keeps me um ticking over if you like till next time thank you for watching bye bye